friends, it's Teacher CJ again, and I'm with another experiment. Um, this is to how to make puffy paint so that when you paint and it dries, your paint will actually puff up and stick up off your paper a little bit, so it's like almost a 3D effect, uh, but you, don't, you want to wait for it to dry to do that. So what you need is you're going to need some glue, um, some food coloring, of course, because you want to use colors, and go get your dad's shaving cream, because <laughs> I'm sure dad has some. Just, say, just go use dad's shaving cream. Um, but you probably want to ask dad first, but that's that's all it is. Just shaving cream like what your dad uses with shaving space. Okay, so the first thing you do, the recipe always says equal parts glue, equal parts shaving cream. But teacher CJ has actually found the trick is to use less glue and more shaving cream. So I would start with about, um, this is not an exact one so that you don't have to like measure, but I'm using about a half a cup of glue. Okay, not very much glue. Just enough to make it stand up. And then this is the fun part. You shake the can. And you spray it in there. Yep, if I can. And you make a mountain of shaving cream. And it's close to a cup by the time the gel dissolves. And then you want to put some pretty colors in. Um, of course, I'm going to use what color? I'm going to use blue, just a few drops, just to make it blue and pretty. Then you're going to need something to stir with, and I always use popsicle sticks because I'm at school, but you can use spatulas or whatever. And then you're just going to mix it really well. And you see that stays puffy in the bowl here. It'll stay puffy when it, when it dries, too. Because we've talked about chemical reactions. And it's kind of a bonding reaction between the glue and the shaving cream. If you notice, it's getting a little thicker, which is what I wanted to have happen. And so it's puffy. See how it's like puffy? Because it's kind of like still like the shaving cream, right? But see how it's stiffer than the shaving cream was? And it'll stay puffy. Then you can take, uh, you can take a spatula, you take a paintbrush, and you're ready to paint. It's that easy. So you can paint whatever you want. Um, I might try to do a flower here, okay? And you want it to go ahead and be thick because you want it to stand up when it dries, right? So you just put it on there. You can even fill in the flower petal if you want to. I'll do another one over here. Go ahead and just fill it in. And as this dries, it will get a little puffier as it goes. And I'll put one right here. And you don't have to fill it in. Sometimes you can just leave the outside side edge open, which is kind of cool. But you can make it like puffy like this. You can put more on and just really stand it up and make it like stand up. Because the, the more you stack it, the longer it'll take to dry, but it'll be puffier than when it's done. So then you're just going to set that aside to dry. And here's one that I've already done. I was... Um, I just, I just blocked it down to show you that it actually stands up. This one is, because when you touch it when it's dry, and I don't know if this is dry enough, it is a little bit, see? It won't, it's not supposed to come back on your finger if it's totally dry, but you can, it'll be squishy So when it dries. And it'll be like, um, you can put a press down on it and it'll kind of like bounce back up and fill itself back in. Now one of the way, other ways I like to do this that is less messy is I like to use a Ziploc bag. Put all your ingredients inside and then have the fun part of squish, 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 squish. And mixing it up so that you get to do the squishy fun part. And then ask mom if she can cut a little tiny hole at the end. And it'll be like um, when somebody frosts a cake. So and then you can squish it out. And you can make your design any way you want. Maybe I'll just make a little bit of a mountain there. And this one's been sitting for a while so it's pro I probably should, could have put more shaving cream in it. Maybe I'll go like that and just add to the one I got. And as that dries, it's going to dry like a big mound just like that is right there. So you can do whatever you want with it and just have some fun. Um, see, I can go like this and I'm running out. But see how, see how thick that is? That's how it's going to dry. It'll dry thick and this is why we call it puffy paint. I'm trying to make a flower. I'm not the greatest at it. Maybe put a stem on it. And then when it dries, and then you could add, I could add, I don't have a hole in that one. Let me try, I could add some red to that by cutting a little teeny tiny hole. 
the bottom of my sack. And look, maybe I could put some red, or it's kind of pink, right? In my flower petal like that. So it's kind of like frosting, except for when it dries, it's going to be puffy. And we're going to let that dry just like that. That's it. That's how you make puffy paste. Dad's shaving cream, some glue, um, some food coloring, a bowl or something to stir it in, or Ziploc bags are perfect. Um, I prefer the Ziploc bags because, like I said, I kind of like to pretend like I'm frosting a cake or a cupcake or something. But as you can see, this one is starting to set up a little bit. And it's not dry or anything, but you can see, I don't know if you can get the close-up on there, but how puffy and 3D it is. It's all like bumpy and stuff. It's not like flat like paint on paper, right? So I'd like you guys to give it a try. Send me some videos and have some fun with it. Remember, um, they say use, if you use the same amount of glue as you use shaving cream, but teacher CJ recipe is more shaving cream than glue. So if you use a half a cup of glue, you want to use a cup or maybe a cup and a quarter of shaving cream. But you don't have to measure. This is one of these, ex these experiments that it's not exact. You just mix it up until you get the consistency you want. Like this one here is pretty much perfect. And then you just paint with it. So have fun. Send me some videos. Have a good day.